Hi, everybody, and welcome back. Today, we're going to work on what to tap on when someone you love says something that hurts you. So have you ever had a friend or a family member, or your partner say something, maybe intentionally, maybe unintentionally, that really got to your heart or made you feel sick or made you super angry? That's what we're going to work on today. So we'll do that right after the show reel. All right. So remember when we're tapping, the first thing you want to do is focus on the exact specific situation that happened. So in this instance, we're going to think about what is it that they said? And was it the words? Was it the tone of voice? Was it their body posture? And I want you to tune in right now to what is it that they said? And just notice what's the emotion you're feeling right now? Anger, frustration, hurt, whatever. How strong is it from zero to 10? Zero meaning, I don't feel it at all. 10 meaning, oh my gosh, it's overwhelming. And then scan your body and see if you feel it anywhere in your body. Okay. So we're going to do the tapping together. So remember, we're going to start on the side of the hand. I'm going to give an example. You can tap along using my example and notice that will actually change your example as well. Or if you want, you could substitute my situation, my emotions, and my body place for your own. Ready? All right, here we go. So even though... I'm feeling sad, thinking about what she said yesterday. She told me that I was acting irresponsible and I feel it in my chest. I'm open to letting this go. So even though I feel sad in my chest that she said yesterday I was acting irresponsible, I accept how I feel about this even though I'm feeling sad in my chest, thinking about yesterday when she said I was irresponsible, I accept how I feel. Ready? Top of the head. Emotion in this situation, or emotion and the body part. Sad in my chest. I'm feeling 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 sad in my chest. Feeling sad in my chest. Great. Take a breath, take some water, and now reevaluate. So, thinking about that situation, what's the emotion? How strong is it? Where do you feel it in your body? And hopefully either the emotion has changed or you feel it in your body has changed or the intensity has changed. As long as one of those things is true, you're doing a good round, right? And if it's going up and up and up and up, keep tapping. But notice that if it keeps going up, maybe you're working on something too big and you need to break it down to first the tone and then the words or, or then the body posture or something else. So make sure you're not wrapping in a bunch of other times that they've said that, that you're being really, really specific to this one time, you'll actually get better progress. So now taking note of your new feelings, we're gonna do another round using the new ways that you're feeling or if it's you're feeling the same, use the same ones, ready? So here we go. So even though I'm feeling sad in my stomach, Thinking about what she said yesterday, I'm open to letting it go. And even though I feel sad in my stomach, thinking about what she said yesterday, I accept I feel this way. And even though I feel sad in my stomach, thinking about what she said yesterday, I accept myself. Great, top of the head. Sad in my stomach. Between the eyes, sad in my stomach. Side of the eyes, side of my stomach. Under the eyes, side of my stomach. Side of my stomach. Side of my stomach. Side of my stomach. Feeling sad in my stomach. All right, so keep tapping. Notice again, where's your emotion? What's the level of intensity? Or what is your emotion? What's the level of intensity? Where is it in your body? If a new situation comes up, write that down. Tap this situation all the way down to a zero if you can. At least get under three before you move on. And then you can keep going to the next situation. That's maybe linked to this. All right. I hope this is helpful. Have a super lovely day. And remember, you're loved, you're loving, and you are lovable.